2023, Coach Prime let the world know him and his squad was coming, and they showed up. In 2024, with this new strategy I'm dropping, me, my subscribers, and my students especially, we putting the market on notice that we coming, because it ain't nothing the market can do to stop it. Let's go deeper. So in the comments this week, somebody asked me, what is the center of the pattern? And so I got to thinking, so let me show people what the secret pattern of trading is, especially of price action trading. And the secret pattern is this, the market moves in twos. So the rule of two is actually the secret pattern. And if I just draw it for you, it's nothing but this. You will get a trend up, one, two legs back correction, and then the trend will continue. So the center of the pattern is here the center of the pattern is the two legs back which could be if you come from this high that's a first entry second entry long so that's why the second entry long or second entries in general are typically the center of the pattern so if we if it's coming down it's a trend down one two legs back and then the trend continues one leg two legs one leg two leg guess i could just write one leg two leg one leg two leg the market moves in twos and the center of the pattern will be right here so what we're trying to do with this new 10 minute strategy is catch the second leg so we identify a good trend with the first leg we wait for a two-legged pullback and then we're trying to catch the second leg. So that's it. So in the example that I'm going to show more, I'm going to go, I'm going to show you on a chart too. So you can see this a little clearer, but that's it. That's exactly what we're trying to do. The center. And so the secret pattern of trading, the secret, and this does, this is just price action. This goes for whatever you're trading, whether you're trading options, futures, Forex, binary, doesn't matter. The market moves in twos. And so you would get a strong trend up. You're going to see two leg correction. And then the second leg. And what we're always trying to do is catch leg number two. You know, we use leg number one to identify a trend. Then we know that the market moves in two, so we wait out the correction. So we don't get trapped in here. We don't start counter trend trading going short, because as soon as you do, then the trend will start over. We stay with trend, and the 21 EMA helps us with this. Because what will happen is, is we'll be above the 21 EMA, we get that break under it. Then once we get back above the 21 EMA, go time. So that's how the 21 EMA helps us out with this whole situation. And it's the same thing coming short. We'll be having this down, two legs back. Then that second leg, the 21 EMA will be looking just like this, coming down with it. And then when it's broken, you know to wait. And then at some point, yeah, I messed that part up. But at some point, that 21 EMA will do like this again. And we'll be back under it. You know, you'll get a break above it. Once you come back under it again here, it's time to enter. And so in this area here is where we're looking for a first entry, second entry short, a high push down, lower high under the EMA. That's why we're looking for those type of setups to get back with trend. Okay. So let's look at this on a chart. Hey guys, how's it going? JD here. So in today's work study lesson, we're going to look at another uh, 10 minute swing trade. I think I'm going to start calling this the sweet spot trade, but um, I'm going to show you how I found this area. So, you know, I saw this big leg here. What you're really doing is just looking for a big, a big leg up or a big leg down. You're looking for a good trend. So I just took the Fibonacci as it sits and the zero. Um, now, wait a minute, let me get it right. The zero always goes to where the trend ended at. So in this case, it put it up here. The one is the start, you put, always put the one at the start. So if it was in reverse, the one would have been up here. So 
I had this trend, the zero would have been at where the trend ended, right? And then I just found the 50% 618 zone, which is the sweet spot, which was right here. 50% 618 area. That's the sweet spot. So when I drew this, prices were like maybe around in here somewhere. Yeah, they were it was it was in here. I had so I was able to clearly see this trend up, right? But then trend down, trend break, retest the new low, right? And then I saw, oh, you know what? I saw it was making a triple bottom too. I saw this double bottom here. Couldn't couldn't break out the sweet spot, right? Pushed up, came back. And so I was watching all of this happen here. So I saw this break out the bottom right at the go to ratio. And then when it pushed back in strong, I kind of knew. So I could have went here, but I didn't. Uh, I was try I was being more conservative. I wanted to wait until prices got back above the EMA. Because again, what do we say? The best trades are always off the 21 EMA. So just to be safe, just because it was in the sweet spot, I didn't take it, you know. But once it came out the sweet spot, I definitely was like, all right, time to start looking. And then once you get this signal candle right here off the sweet spot, that's a good place to go, you know. So um, that's all I did. I found a good trend, put the fib on it, found the sweet spot, waited for prices to get to the sweet spot, and then waited for that second leg. Rule of two, right? The rule of two. The rule of two is what we're really trading. When you get a good leg, the rule of two is that you're going to get another leg about that distance. And that's, I mean, we got it on this one. I mean, clearly we got it on this one. And so what we're doing is trying to catch the second leg of a rule of two situation because we understand that the market moves in twos. And so like, for instance, I'm still watching this Euro dollar right here. See this big move? I was hoping that it would get back to 50%, but it's not. This look like it's going to be a uh, strong trend, 30% trade. It's off to the races. So, hey. Sometimes you don't get a trade. This one, this is a very strong trend. This was probably a 30% retracement. Let's look, which would be strong trend. So on the fib, we're gonna put the the zero goes at the end of the trend, which at the time was here. The beginning of the trend, where we put the one, was up here. So this one came down and pulled right back to 3A2. Strong trend. Strong trend. And now it's probably going to make this leg here off this. So, you know, this one I didn't get to enter. Now I could enter if when prices come back and touch that EMA, if it gives me a good setup, you could go with this. You can go with this. But I've been trying to catch, you know, sweet spot trades. But the 3A2 level is strong trend. You know, the five to six one eight is just really a normal trend. So I still could go here now that I understand. Look, look, we're probably gonna get another leg here of this distance. But right now I'm too far away from the EMA. But that's that's what we I was looking for. And same thing on this FedEx. All right, see this FedEx may give me a shot. It may give me a shot. Look, I, I saw this big old move down. I drew the fib. This is the sweet spot. And now look, trend up, trend break. Re rule of two is happening both ways trend up trend break retest the new high if this thing makes it up to the sweet spot that'll be perfect then i'll take a fedex short after i get a, a setup to go short here so this is probably going to be my next trade and so i'm just waiting you just wait for it you find you find a strong leg find your sweet spot wait for prices to make it there then find a good entry a second entry a higher low, um, a rally base rally, a drop base drop, some type of entry that you can clearly put a name on. And then you go with the dominant trend, which this is going to be a short. So this, this may be my next trade right here. I'm going to leave it here so I can see it. But this Audi Swiss, uh, it was beautiful. It worked beautifully. And uh, there was, I mean, there were several trades in here. All you could have took them all at 10 minutes and they all would have worked. So that is the, the lesson for today uh this is looking like a good strategy i mean we're still early in the testing stages but i'm feeling like we found fire i'm just saying uh it's still early but but man it's comfortable it's kind of mechanical 
Um, it keeps you from over trading. Uh, it kind of increases your patience. It, it allows you to be patient. I mean, there's a lot of positives I'm starting to see. And before I thought that, you know, you, you would be missing trades doing this 10 minutes instead of three, but no, actually you can take the same entries as long as you're up on, on the trade you're in. I mean, I, I've been in several trades at the same time just because I, I mean, I feel more confident because I know what's going on. Like if you had taken this entry here, by the time you get this low push up, higher low here, you're confident to go again and you're already up. Man, let's say you took this big one. You're already up one, two, three, four, five, six. You're already up six. You've been in six minutes and you're up by a large margin by the time you could take this one. So you could have easily entered here and here and you would have won both of them by a mile. So, hey, I'm really starting to like this. I'm really starting to like what's possible here. So, I mean, if you, if you, if, you know, if you take four go four trades a day or something like that, man, you can get four trades in one run. You know, we don't have to be, you don't have to trade five or six different or three or four different pairs in a day. You can, you know, identify a good leg and man, ride that leg all the way up. And you, you're, you're going with trend every trade. I mean, every trade is with trend. Let's, let's watch this FedEx. We almost here. Yeah, every trade is with trend. Um, the trend is your friend until it bends. You know, right here, this, this is like it's going to make that second leg. Good stuff. Good stuff. So, anyway, this Audi Swiss was a good look. Hey, this is a great time to like, subscribe, and share. Look at that. I mean, but look at the distance you got on there. That is clearly the same distance. It's probably about to go higher now. So, great call on this. Um, that's how I did it. This is this. A lot of people are saying that this is easier. Those who've already jumped out there and tried it, told you guys to let me test it. But hey, I understand because it, it's pretty fire. Um, so those who've already tried it are loving it. Um, I'm getting good feedback already from this uh, this new trade. And so, whew, I mean, look like we coming in 2024. I mean, those people who subscribe to this channel and and my students who've taken the course and understand the rule of two, understand the market cycle, understand how to use the 21 AMA understand second entries understand higher lows understands rally based rallies yeah we coming 2024 we coming so again hey like subscribe share let somebody else know what's going on in this channel and as usual for staying this long i definitely have a trade bonus for you or i have a bonus for you which is a trade example i should say it like that all right so stay tuned check out this example and i'm signing off my name is jd and as always i wish you increase on the sudden bye bye so this Audi Swiss is looking like it's going to make it out of this. I mean, it has, I mean, the down push is very much exhausted. It's currently in the sweet spot. If it, like I said, if we get a strong push out and maybe a low, higher low above that EMA, I'll be with it. To this area here was where this good trend here started before. So there could be a lot of demand here. It could be a lot of buyers in here. This one and this year try. So you'll try is pushing to try to get to the sweet spot. Both of these could trigger some. Hmm. Okay, so all these Swiss is doing what we thought. We got a low push up higher low and we're gonna get the strong candle out no could make strong candle out okay so now the EMA is right on the sweet spot too so if we get the high low above the EMA, that'd be a good look. Here we can we can see all the trend break retests. You know, we can kind of say that this down move is, is over. And pushed up one, two, you know, we haven't had that new high yet. So now we're coming out the sweet spot. 
starting to like this entry more. If we can get out, if we can get out of the sweet spot with a a, um, a higher low entry, might have something here. Come on, close, close, closing your top, closing your top, closing your top. Fight going on. These are a lot of warning shots. Warning shots. Warning shots. Warning shots. Warning shots. I don't know if the down move is quite over yet. So I was right. All these warning shots. You know, this down move still has some some strength left. That was a monster candle. Looks like we're gonna break out the sweet spot now. Now we're in the golden ratio. Oh, well, we're we're in the golden ratio zone now. And looking at this right here, this area right here should act as it used to be resistance. It could act as support now. I'm gonna put a let's put a bar right there. Put a bar right here. Could be an area where we bounce. Once we're on the other side of the EMA, we're with trend in, in, in both cases. I don't want to go against trend. I want to be on the other side of the EMA saying I'm going with trend. Above the EMA, with trend. Under the EMA, against trend. Okay. So now things is looking interesting. We got a matching bottom. Big candles. So if we get a low push up, higher low, I would be inclined to go. Even though it's under the EMA. I like this matching bottom right at the golden ratio. So we get a push down. Look at, the, look at this hammer up. Look at the rejection that's here. There's buyers in this area. There's demand in this area right where I thought before. EMA is in the sweet spot. We get a buddy EMA for a low push up, higher low. It's go time. Go time. We got the big strong move up. I get rid of this. We hit we hit some demand here with that candle. Now we're getting back a buddy EMA. Strong candles. We see the buyers coming into the market. right in our sweet spot area we're looking for another leg of something like this again downtrend we can see it definitely played out all right now we got the strong close above the ema now we want to see a low push up higher low entry so we can go so it's almost go time Yeah, we want this to come back. If it can even come back and touch the EMA, it would be perfect. It's almost doing it for us. And then the next candle, we want it to come out, break out of the 50% zone. We're out. We're off to the races. We'll be headed here, here, and here. Like I say, I love this matching bottom down here. Then this rejection right here was beautiful. Oh. Oh, it's trying to take off and leave us. We gotta wait for a pullback. Oh, it's trying to trying to take off and leave us. Now we're out of the sweet spot. Clear leg up. We wait for a pullback. We'll get at least a, another leg like this uh, lead in whatever trade we take. And then our targets again is here, here, and here. Expecting that we're going to get another leg like this. Yep. Thank you for not leaving us. Come back. Close on your low. Close on your low. So make sure we all set up. Yep, set up 10 minutes. Okay, we're ready to go. Close on your low. Come on, close on your low. Close on your low. Close on your low. Closing your low. 
There's nothing but strength out here. Gap down. This thing is going to head up and out. Once it clears, I'm probably going to go. I'm going. We're in. This is this is a rally base rally entry. <laughs> and our targets are here, here, and here. 10 minutes. Look at the big picture. We knew we was gonna be trying to get a leg like this. It came right into the sweet spot. We waited for an entry out of the sweet spot. Money. Cash money. Great trade. Great trade. If Fibonacci and price action trading is new to you, check out this video right here and remember to like, share, and subscribe. My name is JD and as always, I wish you increase on the Sutton. Bye-bye.